So the business is moving yet again. Away from the home, at home, away from the home, back at home. So currently at my current storage unit. So shipping containers. You should have seen a video before when I moved into this one back in June. So I've been here nine months now. And this time next week, I'll be back in the garden in a new shed. Because we've got a week, but we've got a week to prepare. So I've got the wife with me who's going to help sort everything out. Try to make the most of the space because obviously still doing eBay, but also the whatnot shows are still continuing, doing YouTube more. So yeah, trying to utilize the space as much as possible so we don't need anywhere else at all to rent out. Because I'm completely getting rid of this one. I could keep it, maybe put furniture in it, maybe later down the line. But for now, no, getting rid of it purely at home. I've got to pay it off. We're here now. Ugh to measure up and do a bit of a floor plan. She's got the notebook basically, but we're gonna measure up all my different bits of kit. So the racking, I've got my, um, I've got my packing bench. So I'm gonna measure all them and see what is the best way to use the space. I'm not gonna miss doing this bit. Here we go. So here's the current state of where I keep the eBay side of the business. It's getting messy, it's chock-a-block, unorganized, not fun to be in at all. Dark, as you can see, dingy, warm in the summer, cold in the winter, just not fun to be around. Hence why I haven't done my picking orders videos. I usually do them quite a lot, which they will be making a return. Just um, I haven't been doing them because I don't wanna be here as long as I need to be. And plus when I come at night, it's dark anyway. Yeah, it's just, it's not fun to be in. So this is the goods in area. There's still loads of goods in area. Just, yeah, it's testing stuff. So I'd have to put it in the car, lug it back home, plug it in at home, test it, and then lug it back here when I pictured it. So that's just been completely put off. So most of this might come with me. I'm not sure. I might have a clearance at a boot sale or even an auction. Might just get rid of it. This is full of cameras, actually. No, staying with me. So it, it looks like a lot. It still looks full, but it's just bigger items that I don't really want to deal with right now and all this is like listed stock and there's a lot of empty shelves that empty hardly anything in there empty empty hardly anything in there that's my scooter that's mine i'm gonna sell that actually soon but yeah empty across there just one like trolley no, in fact that's the bag for my scooter so all that's empty yeah hardly any electronics this is the f fullest side shoes boots trainers clothing uh that like trousers jeans it says all this space and the space isn't being used properly that's why amy's here because i'm hoping oh well, i do this is staying non-negotiable i love this uh workbench yeah, so everything's negotiable everything's negotiable apparently <laughs> so this hopefully is staying there's a couple of bits of furniture i'm going to get rid of them cheap hopefully so i don't have to drag them back but we got yeah this is a bit longer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven normal storage units. Corner unit that might go possibly. Got these cages as well. Got a standing desk, like robotic one. So yeah, it's a bit of a mess. I need sorting out. Look, look at this. Oh, yeah. This wasn't fun to be in. I wanted to be in and out as quick as possible, and it shows. It's got a grid paper. I'm not in charge of this. That's for Amy. I'm in charge of measuring. So. I know where that is. Organised chaos. So I've been round, measured all the different measurements. This is the current George Russ organ unorganised plan. This one's long. These are different sizes. I've got a cage, got this, got that. Oh, very messy. What's this now? I'm doing I'm a plan still. I'm just seeing how many we've got of each size. Gotcha. And then if we picked everything up in this unit and moved it into the new one, this is pretty much what it would look like. The mess. <laughs> and you don't need all of that space where there's empty boxes. Because you're paying for every single bit of this space and it's not being used. I'm told off. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> and if you imagine you want your rail there for whatnot, you need enough space for your camera. So you will lose all of this space for ebay stuff or whatever this is so we need to go through and work out exactly what you want to bring and what you don't mind getting rid of like these signs are like 
this basket does that need to take up this much space in the new unit or is it worth just getting rid of it quickly Jeff? i still haven't listed this bloody thing <laughs> i mean it's nice but it's big it's a lampshade i've done but something to the top <laughs> that wasn't like that when i bought it's it it's massive oh, i know yeah, it should have sold quicker than that yeah this is this I know, been oh, rejected this is that table that we was gonna yeah, keep that's but not we listed a new one. <laughs> these aren't listed because i haven't got the cardboard boxes i don't list until they've got cardboard boxes yeah unlisted you haven't got cardboard boxes well not nice square ones you know for what is this about then oh, i don't know these look nice and square to me no not big enough for these well <laughs> i'll say now there isn't enough room in the new unit for all of that cardboard <laughs> and all of this cardboard. Oh yeah, I think you're right, you know. <laughs> Void maybe, fill, bags. <laughs> maybe if you don't pick up stuff that's going to need this much cardboard, or yeah. if you are, get a box as you need to pack it. Yep. You're not in the business of storage, babe. I tell my subscribers that. Well, you're not you in can't the tell me that. <laughs> I'm not in, we're not in the business of storage. It's got told my own line by my own wife. <laughs> I've probably heard it from you, then. What's that? Battery. What's Usually that? mid boot sale season, that is full of electronics. Mm -hmm. Full. Whoa. But then. It's got a Bowie one. I know. Sorry, you're not my health. <laughs> not health and safety inspector. This is why we need a proper sort out when we move. Yeah, three lamps taking up all that shelf and none of them are listed. <laughs> I like that one. We can keep that for the bedroom. This is full of camcord. I've got more bloody... I just nearly sorted my cameras out and I found some more. So finished organising for today. We've started uh, combining empty boxes. So yeah, literally empty, two empty shelving racks. Just so it's easier. When it comes to moving day, I think we're coming back Monday, Tuesday. We've got a recycling centre slot. We've got, yeah, cardboard. I sort of collect cardboard and stash it, and then it's not being used throughout the winter. So obviously it's more shoes and trainers. So we've got our little um, map of the inside of this unit. We're going to go home, measure the inside of the new unit. It's sort of similar size to this one anyway. But because we want the back wall in the new unit to be sort of whatnot space, like for the shows and for YouTube videos. Um, just having a rejig about getting rid of some stuff that I'm not using or is just taking up too much space for the value that it provides so yeah I wanted a good freshen up so this is a good time to do it with the new unit so back home now the last time he was here there was no floor I was balancing on the balance beams no electrics no lights let me turn you around now fully complete minus the paint that I have to do myself but we now have lights, electrics, and they installed the step. I forgot I was supposed to have a step. So yeah, we've got a step now. That was included. Got me outside light. But yeah, welcome to the TAT tent 2.0. Got some proper flooring. Look at that. I don't have to balance. And hold on a second. There we go. Got my singular light at the minute. And then the outside light. Obviously, can't say that just yet. Yes. Oh, also, all fully properly done. This was included in the price of the build. Proper safety electric, like fuse box, all wired in, double socket switch, double socket switch already being in use. Three, three double socket switches, also the lights. Um, this came with the package, the uh, executive package. Um, but I have contacted my or our electrician that we use for the house and that. And I've requested the price to change this for two big strip lights. So it's, it's a long unit and just the one pendant won't do the job because ideally I just want to turn the lights on, flood this place with light and I don't really have to worry too much with photography lighting and obviously if I film in here for YouTube again I don't have to worry too much about setting up ring lights and all that faff so yeah waiting on a price for them, should be too much because all the electrics already installed so literally just swap that over, nice big strip light and then probably one down there as well see how bright we can go with the natural light and then hopefully get picturing done without too much fuss with lighting because that will be sorted but as you can see, 
already started to sort of move in. That is the idea of the back wall, as I said in the first video, that is the whatnot wall. So gonna prep every show, gonna hopefully do two shows a week. At the moment it's one show every Friday, but yeah, we wanna churn over that turnover nice and quick. So we're gonna hopefully push to two shows, 50 items, two shows. Yeah, this is the whatnot show. So that should be the camera view. I have uh, the auctions like before they've sold and then when each item sells I can put it on the bottom rail and then I know what sold what hasn't sold so that's that setup on the back wall fits nicely uh, some of this stuff I should be dry now but got a dehumidifier from the inside the house so that was doing its thing overnight yeah and that's some stock that I've pictured for eBay but Saturday hired a long base long wheel base van and yeah moving day is officially Saturday of course I'm gonna vlog the day Again, I think it's like my third or fourth um, moving day vlog, but yeah, this Saturday, long wheelbase, got the brother-in-law helping me again. Are we fully kitted out in here? So as Amy is more on board with the business and she has a background in business analyzing and planning and stuff like that, she's been on the old planning. We've been to the old unit, as you just saw. I was measuring out my rackings, like I've got different sized ones. I've got my standing desk, my wrapping desk. Um, Obviously, we've got this space and we can't outgrow it. We need to make as much money as we can within this space without having to rent out elsewhere while the kids are young anyway. Once the kids are older, especially Lenny, obviously, once he's older, then we can expand possibly. Uh, but for now, we've got to make the use of this space cost enough. So yeah, Amy's been doing the plan. So we've been around the old unit, got what racking is what and me and Amy have been out with the tape measure and the paper tape measuring out what's what and what should go where. Mainly ready for the electrician so we know where to put our plugs so we knew that was the what not show slash YouTube area possibly. Uh, this is going to be my standing desk where I do my picturing, printing labels etc. That's going to be there so I needed the plugs there. So it's not just what fits where and then sort of doing a bit of a Tetris. It's all about workflow as well. Again, Amy's strength about workflow. So see when we first come in, or when I first come in, okay, so you wanna come in the door, first thing you wanna see, goods in. So if I come back from charity shops, boot sales, jungle sales, whatever, I wanna step in, I wanna put my stuff down. Haven't been tested or anything, literally the goods in area, either side. Ideally, should only need one side because gotta keep on top of this stuff, churning it over every week. But Amy has allowed for two goods in areas. I think one clothing and shoes, one electronics and everything else, vintage and stuff like that. So then, yeah, all along this wall, racking, racking, racking. So one, two, what's that? So four sets of racking. I think that is purely for eBay and Depop, Etsy, whatever. One, two, three, four, all along there. We'll see up high and at the top. So I think, we'll see, this is going to do my packaging. So there will be some packaging supplies and stuff, cardboard boxes like usual. Then over this racking, not sure if it's planned for eBay or possibly whatnot shows. It's all about workflow. It's not just shove that there, shove this here. We've worked on a workflow, so I'd have to keep walking back and forth, back and forth here and there. Come in, goods in, testing area. So goods in, testing and pitching area, then rack in, put it away. So then when it sells, pick it, pack it out the door. That's that, so it should work like a dream because we've done all the measurements she's got a grid paper so it's all to measurements and stuff so saturday should be painless hopefully because everything's got its place it's literally mapped out on the floor so it'll be interesting i'll see you saturday when um hopefully this plan pulls together so yeah, super super happy with how it's all coming together i can't wait to start picking and packing from here working from here all day every day because as I said in my first video, I started to get late marks on my eBay, which is not good. I start going down the best matched results, which isn't what you want. You want to be as high as possible. And literally a five second commute from the back door into here, just like it used to be back in the old house. But yeah, we're so much happier in our surroundings and our new house in a new workshop building. Still need a name for it. Yeah, we need a name. Get in the comments below. This building needs a proper name. I feel like the tat tent bit with what it cost and everything, I don't really want to be calling it a tent. So I need a name for this building. What should we call it? I can't think off the top of my head, but I'm open to suggestions, get down below. Also going off the comments in the first video, there's concerns about obviously insurance, security, things like that. 
don't worry, that is sorted. We've got multiple levels of security, cameras, lights, uh, insurance we're looking into literally this weekend. So as I've moved in, we're also looking at, oh, that's Amy's part, I think she's going to look at that more. So that the home contents insurance, whatever we need is covered with this because this is our family income. If something happens to this, we're knackered. Ooh. It's currently just gone 10 o'clock at night. Just completed my first whatnot show from the new shed. I still think, need to think of a new name, shed. Spending this much money, this corner of the shed isn't, doesn't feel right. But yeah, we completed it. Everything sold, of course. Yeah, obviously it won't be this messy because obviously as of tomorrow, it's moving in day and obviously this can't all be there because that's where a um, <laughs> racking will be. I've lost my words, it's so late. But um, I am planning on, obviously I'm gonna have strip lights, which is now booked in for the 2nd of April. So strip lights as of the 2nd of April. So I've got one more show just with this light and I need to upgrade because this one's rubbish. This ring light is pants. I think it was like a eight, 10 pound special from like Home Bargains or B&M. Doesn't do much. I need my double photography lights on as well. And obviously there's all this space. So I need one really good ring light ideally. So that'll solve that. Obviously down the middle was empty anyway. So this will all be free. My rails, I go, obviously this is all now sold. That's why it's on the bottom rail. But before the show, everything was up here. Then one by one, when it sells down there, down there. And this space is all clear anyway. This is purely for whatnot. So the system should work. I was told otherwise by one or two negative Nellies that it's too small, but we'll make it work. I always make it work. There's always a way. So now, what did this cost? Now let's talk some numbers. So let's talk numbers. So because they've done such a good job, this is not sponsored in any way. I've had to pay for this unit fully by myself. It's not sponsored, no discount, like special discounts for me anyway. But yeah, they've done such a good job. We are so happy with the results. We're gonna name them. So we've got this garden building from Johnson's Garden Buildings. So it was, I've been researching for months and months before this. This kept coming up in good reviews. I've been recommended them like word of mouth a few times as well. Not the cheapest, but very good reliability, quality, start to finish, they do everything. I could have got it cheaper elsewhere on other websites and stuff, but I would have had to have done the base, which I don't trust and I didn't want to do. Yeah, this yeah, just seemed like the quality of care and attention and workmanship seemed to outweigh everywhere else. So it wasn't just this unit, there's plenty of like different designs and shapes, sizes, etc. add-ons, features, packages. So we go to garden rooms, that so there's like the hub, pavilion, garden, Vancouver, there's all these different shapes. The one we went for, it's called the Avondale. If I click on it, so here it is. So this is the shape that we went for, Avondale. It will then come on to the different sizes. So we've got a shape, then you've got your sizes. So the smallest is two and a half by two and a half meters. But the one we went for is the biggest one, two and a half by five and a half meters. Uh, double glazing is standard, wall thickness is standard. Then the packages, this is what affects the price. So the packages, if we look quickly, because silver means obviously you get the garden room, get delivery, construction onto an existing base. So if you've done the base yourself, then they put it on. And then the felt shingle roof. Then you've got gold where they do then do the timber base, paint treatment, delivery, full construction. They got the platinum, so then it includes roof insulation, laminate flooring and everything else. They got the diamond and then there is executive even higher, but um, we went with the diamond package ourselves. So they do the base, they construct it, get the paint treatment, roof insulation, floor insulation, laminate flooring and the electrical package, which was very important. Electric sockets wired to the house with the switches so it's all safe and lighting as well. And it was a 20% sale one. Uh, on the new year, they introduced this 20% off all garden rooms, which was handy. So yeah, for my size with the basic silver, so I would have had to have done the base it would have been eight grand just over. Gold goes up to nine and a half. Platinum, 11. Obviously we went with diamond. If we went for the executive, I think they even plastered the walls. It like, that goes into extra detail. That would have been 17 and a half grand. But our one, diamond, just under 13 and a half thousand. So obviously it's a big difference from silver, got 8,000, just over 8,000. 
but obviously I would have had to have done the base. There'd be no insulation, no flooring, no electrics, no lights, all that sort of stuff. So this is my receipt. Uh, just make sure there's no personal details, but this is my actual invoice showing all the details of the package, all the measurements, the paint, etc. So here we've got cladding, one board and three sides only, limited offer, free of charge. And then the single height, double wide doorstep, I got for half price, 200, 20% uh, discount. So all in all, here we go, my final bill, or our final bill, £13,582.20. Start to finish, I didn't have to do anything. All I've got to do is the paint. They supply the paint, I just got to paint it. Not the cheapest way by far to do this. Obviously, if you're skilled in any way, you can do this from start to finish yourself, and you've got the free time, you can get the materials, then you can do it like for probably the three grand, or maybe less, I don't know. But yeah, I, I'm a bit handy with the DIY net, but I don't trust myself. I, I haven't got the time and the effort and the patience to do it. Uh, obviously, we live in our house now. We're on the property ladder, thank God. So yeah, we're not planning on moving at all, really. This is our forever home for now. And so the thing that done it for us was obviously being a bit boring and a bit adult about it. Having this unit here and it's been insulated and it's proper flooring. If we did ever move out for whatever reason in years, decades to come, it's going to add value to the house. So what we spent this 13 grand, we're hoping it adds that and more to the property value because there's an outside building. Kit it out with a bed and drawers and that Airbnb. There you go, or a little annex for whoever. So yeah, being completely transparent, we haven't got 13 grand just to splash out on a massive building in a garden. It is financed, but obviously saving 180 quid from my shipping container. So that's 180 straight away. Uh, yeah, so basically balancing the books, it's only a little bit extra. And after that four or five years, nothing. It's all paid off going forward. Zero rent, zero finance. It's just all good. Just give it some paint and protection. I think every three to four years, just to keep that like keep on top of that. So if I was renting a storage unit or a room or office in four or five years time, I still need to pay that rent. Once it's all paid off, bang. Yeah, it's just getting to that moment. Obviously four or five years to go yet. So it's a long road ahead, but it'll soon go. Time flies so fast. So there we go. Hope you appreciate that. Yeah, not the cheapest, but the quality is well worth it. We're so, so happy with it. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna crack on with some work out there.